Hello chat boys out there, today in this video I'm going to be telling you guys out there about what I got to on my Friday. I hope you guys have had a lovely week so far and also had a lovely Friday so far. We finally made it, it is almost the weekend. I got ready for the day ahead and I had some jam toast with a cup of tea and my dad was at work, so is my older sister and my younger brother and my younger sister in uni. My older brother was in the living room having some food and watching TV. I got myself ready and my mum's getting a haircut down the road at the house on where I did workplace and that and our family first done and we knew them really well and they're so lovely there and so I went off to go there and before that I was going to get my advent chocolates and so I got my advent chocolates and before that my old brother spitefully said how he was going to get my white chocolate advent calendar chocolate so I ran in trying to stop him figured he'd got my advent calendar because my advent calendar has looked the same and he had his one, so he thumped me and said, this is my one, you idiot. And called me a moron on all these stupid names and was winding me up being an idiot. Don't know what's the matter with him at the moment, but he's been so irritating. and keeps on winding me up, calling me names, poking me, prodding me. He's 20, 23 years old, because there's a two-year gap between the five of us. And he's acting like a bloody three-year-old. He's just so frustrating. And so I just told him to just get lost and some words that I'm not very proud of but I was just so irritated by him I got my shoes and jacket on and slammed the door and left because he was saying I was freaking the dog out when my dog's nuts and he shakes at anything so I just left him I'm just like, I'm just like you're such an idiot just don't talk to me just leave me the hell alone because he's so frustrated with me I went and saw my mum and just told her and then I was so frustrated and angry but calmed down once I was there because I got to hold some of the, hold some of the trial was and they've got four and they were in little adorable Christmas outfits and they're so adorable and one of them kisses you on the nose when you say when they say it's like kiss kiss and they nip you on the kiss you on the nose and it's so adorable and I did I said nip on the nose I didn't know why I said that. I've tried to do this like what five times now and I just don't know why but I just keep on messing up my words and just yeah it's just been one of those days. It's been a long week and yeah I watched some vlogmas stuff when we got back and my dad was back from work and he'd been to Argos and he's gone off the bed and my younger brother was back from work and he had his mate over and then they've gone off out and my younger brother kicked me in the knee when I was in the living room reading one of the magazines because he's a mug. Both my brothers are so irritated. They always pop me and pick me and stuff. They're like bloody free odds. It's so frustrating. So I was just like, what the hell? And he went off out with his mate. I think he's just come back now. I'm not sure what he's up to now. Hopefully he just stays away from me because both my brothers are just so annoying at the moment. Just so frustrating. And yeah, my mum's doing well. she got a haircut. She really likes it. It looks nice. And we watched some episodes of... This murder mystery show, Australian one, I can't remember what it's called at the moment, but it's really good. I gained a load of followers on Twitter, it's gone up and down. I said that I wasn't going to get it to me, but I lost a load of followers and I knew it. I said last night when I gained a load of followers, I said, I bet by tomorrow that will be gone. And we should have done So I did get a bit annoyed, but I'm just not going to let it get to me anymore. It goes up and down like a bloody yo-yo. I'm just going to enjoy my life. And we told the people at the salon how I'd done calendars for my grandparents for their Christmas presents for New Year of can a calendar of my photography that I do and one of the hairdressers which is the head one said how she hadn't seen some of my photos lately because I haven't really been able to get out because of the wind and stuff and she was like you need to get out there and get some more photos and was saying those are different destinations where I could go to get some photos around where I live and there are quite a few places and so I'm going to probably try to do that later on I was supposed to be doing it yesterday, but then I ended up just watching those Christmas films and just doing lots of writing and drawing and just relaxing. And yeah, anyway, I got some dolls and doll stuff the other day from the charge shop. And I am going to be showing you guys those dolls and doll things that I got. So the first one I'm going to be showing you is this Cindy one here. And she is beautiful. She's got a lovely tutu on. And when you take that off, it's a leotard. Unfortunately, it won't button up at the back. It's supposed to button up at the back, but it the button is broken that you put in. The hair's a bit crazy. I did sort it out because she had a fringe, but it was really crazy. So I and like really 
bodged, so I got rid of the fringe. And I think she looks pretty nice. I need to try getting a hairband to try and put a hair in a bun. But yeah, I really like this doll. I love Cindy dolls. Then I got this one here, and she is a bow doll. Her hair is a little bit crazy because someone hacked it off. So I tried to sort it out as best I could. She's got a nice clip in her hair that clips it all back. And I love this dress. It's like a maroon coloured dress. Like a, yeah, it's like a purpley maroon coloured dress. And it's very Christmassy. And I love the earrings. She originally had some white um, dungarees on. And I am going to be putting these on my beat up dolls. I'm sort my beat up dolls out tomorrow. So I can't wait to put these on my beat up doll. Then the last one I'm going to be showing you. I might try cut her hair. Sort it out. I'm not sure. I might just leave it like this. Who knows. And yeah it's a bit crazy. And the last one I got was this one here. And it's a mermaid. It's a Sleeping Beauty doll. And there's a bit of the back that's supposed to put down. And it makes the eyes shut. But it's broken it wasn't very well designed unfortunately because i have one of these already i love her hair what the one i have when i was younger i unfortunately used to cut all the hairs and so she had really crazy hair so this one i really like the fact that she's got her long curly hair and this is a amazing outfit from the 90s barbie line that my old sister used to have and i just love the gold and the amazing patterns and she's got a nice tiara and a necklace on and then I got some dresses as well the first one I'm going to be showing you is this beautiful pink one here which is amazing and it's got some nice stars on go check my photos of those out on my Instagram at Dana Chatterbox I thought it would be much appreciative and yeah I just love this dress it's like from like the 70s or 80s, but I just love the stars on it. It's just so cool. So, and then there's like lace on it as well. And then I got this one here, which is a, I think it's like a Sleeping Beauty or like Cinderella, like ball gown. It's like a Disney princess dress and I absolutely love it. I love blue. It's one of my favourite colours and I love the patterns. The lace. And then there's, as you can see, there's a little blue flower. There it is. And it's just such a lovely dress. I got some photos of those on my Instagram by using um, like a mannequin I have in my dollhouse where I put like a few hats and scarves on. And I took that off. And luckily the dresses managed to fit onto them, onto the mannequin, and they came out really good. The last one that I'm going to be showing you is one of my favourite dresses that I've got so far it's very old like style but i absolutely love it it's this one here it's a wedding dress and there's like a rose there short sleeved and then it's got buttons it buttons up at the back and it has like beads there and also beads at the top and then at the back you can see, if you can see they've got little like roses like little flowers at the back of the on the train and when when I had it on the mannequin you could really see the train how long it is and it's just such a beautiful dress I absolutely love this wedding dress it's one of my favorite doll dresses that I own and yeah it's very old-fashioned glam and I absolutely love it how many times do I want to say I love it I love it I love those dresses I love those dolls and that was just such a good doll find. And I sorted out my dolls and dollhouse. I did a bit of dolls and dolls and blue doll photography. And then me and my mum watched BBC Doctors. And I had a soft cheese sandwich and a cup of tea for my lunch. Gained a few more followers on Instagram. And was talking to some doll lovers on Instagram. And commenting about their photos and stuff. And it's my cousin's 24th birthday today. So happy birthday, cuz. Hope you have a great day and I'm hopefully seeing my cousins next week. They're coming down from London to as we're going to my uncle and his girlfriend's house next week sometime for a little get together this whole Christmas. 
My mum's eyes are still a bit blurry due to her diabetes, insulin getting sorted out and stuff. But she's doing a lot better. Other than that, is having to wear glasses a bit more. But it's getting a lot better than it was. And I'm now off to go watch today's neighbours and then go work on some more parts of my new chapter of my book and some new songs. And then going to be sorting out my dolls and dolls and getting my blue dolls out ready for me to sort out tomorrow. I hope you guys all have had a lovely week. Have a lovely rest of Friday and a lovely weekend ahead. And I shall see you with a new vlog coming very soon. Bye. Just before I go, we're putting the decorations up for Christmas tomorrow and Sunday. Looking forward to doing that and I can't wait to show you guys soon. Bye.